All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD10 back here, Present Source. And if you guys missed the Jeff Keighley Summer No Game Summer Summer Game Fest, I forgot because there's IGN Summer of Gaming. Forgive me, a Jeff Keighley Summer Game Fest. I think is what it is. Uh, we did a live reaction on youtubecom joyclicks. Make sure to go check out that video as well if you want the full impressions and full reactions of this. But I did want to kind of bring you all to the channel our first look at what I feel is truly like my next gen like opening. Like you know how there was Watch Dogs for the PS4 era of like that was was the game and the and the and the real visual fidelity that is what is going to look what next gen was right like like back in the day with with the watch dogs i feel like that moment has came finally today in the form of the unreal engine 5 announcement they rolled out and announced unreal engine 5 and this tech demo that they showed off is very very impressive and so this tech demo is called the lumen in the land of nanite i think is what what it's pronounced as but it is an absolutely gorgeous looking tech demo so please enjoy our first taste at unreal engine 5 running on PlayStation 5 hardware. And of course, down there below, let me know your thoughts on how you felt about this whole tech demo. Did you think it was a good idea? Did you think it was a great way to showcase, uh, you know, Unreal Engine 5 and PlayStation 5? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Link down below, of course, we got Twitter, Discord, all the good stuff, as well as coming up later on tonight, we do have the next episode of the Last of Us stream series. Make sure to be there. If you missed where you're at or what we're playing this week, check out our Twitter down below in the, the, in the description where you can find on the pinned tweet our full schedule for the last of us stream series and i hope to see you all there if you like the video if you enjoyed that as well please subscribe to play stores to keep up with ladies and grace and play this thank you for watching and as always once again enjoy the tech demo and greatness awaits greatness always awaits hello i'm brian karras technical director of graphics here at epic games hi i'm jerome plateau art director of the special project a few years ago, we got together as a team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state-of-the-art and real-time graphics. There were two key areas that stood out. The first, dynamic global illumination. Beautiful bounce lighting instantaneously. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. And we're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory. We could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data, without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. This has to be the right way. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. They are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Okay, let's keep going. We 
we've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The demo runs on our Chaos Physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. Sounds promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any touch. light source can move while Get still having paint. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. Not much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal, it's open. Don't fail me now.
time to see what's next.